I think the uh, the biggest challenges we face going forward here is really communicating our story about what Atalanta was. It's not a new invented name. It's a it's a car, British motor company with with good heritage that's been lost in the in the years. I'm Martin Caulfield, director of Atalanta Motor Car Company. Well, Atalanta uh, for for me goes back some years. Uh, when I was 17, I actually uh, saw my first Atalanta in a local workshop. Atalanta Motors uh, was established initially in 1936. Um, it was the technically most advanced British sports car of the era. Uh, Atalanta originally was a very beautiful, uh, well sought after young lady who was very fast on her feet. By 39, the, the war came about. All efforts were pushed towards war effort, obviously, uh, and the, the company didn't continue post-war in, in that guise. Back in uh, 2006, 2007, um, I recognised this uh, as a brand. Obviously, it was, was, was dormant. Inquired about securing the trademarks, which I purchased, and secure those trademarks. Uh, obviously, the company, the company names. And, of course, I had a car that I could then reverse engineer to, to bring us to the Atalanta today. Um, currently, today, the, the, the car, similar to the one we have here, was started at £125,000. I think success for us is to, is to get some continuity into the brand. Um, we, we estimate roughly about 21 cars built originally. I think if we can uh, supersede that, I think that would be a major victory. <laughs>